Hey guys, welcome back to Technopedia and earlier we installed the DN4 ROM on the Galaxy Note 2. So now it's the time to review the ROM. So let's get started. Here is the lock screen. You can see the unlock effect from the Galaxy Note 4. Here are the lock screen options and the unlocking effects. We get all the unlocking effects right from the Note 4 which looks really really amazing on our Galaxy Note 2 as you can see. Here are the other features also. It's the charging effect which shows on the screen while it's charging. Here is the screen lock. Okay, let's see about device. It says Android version dot four dot four dot four, and changes the model number to Galaxy Note four, which is really cool. Let's jump into the Bluetooth name. As you can see, it's also changed to Galaxy Note 4. Here is the Flipboard. It also works really great. Here is the App Drawer, the Calculator. Here is the music player similar to the Note 4. Let's jump into the settings. Smart volume. That's really cool. Let's see the recent apps. Yes, it's all similar to the Galaxy Note 4. Clear all tabs. Here is the task manager. Now let's jump into settings again. And we can also add the quick launch for the app settings app. Which we frequently use. We can add those options here. So change the font. Here are the uh, default fonts from for the room. And here's the festival effect. It's also really cool. It shows some effect of the festival on our screen. the data roaming option and move the private mode it's really a cool security feature Let's check the S voice. Yeah, we have also got that. Samsung has really improved it. It works really great. Here's the S Finder, a cool feature of the phone. And 
find the quick connect here's the floating messaging it allows the message pop up on the screen here's the side panel allows us to jump into the recent apps and home and the back key also here is the UPS ultra power saving mode it really works great guys it's enabling the power saving mode now yes it started it says it will last around 5 days on 40% days of battery we can add few apps also but that would be the default apps only disable it and we have also got the download booster guys it's really amazing it uses the Wi-Fi along with the mobile data to provide a greater and higher speed of the internet here are the power saving options it has also got the fast charging but it's not working quite well You can also restrict the background data, you can change the color scheme to grayscale mode to reduce the battery consumption. Really great features of the room. Overall the room is very snappy as you can see, we didn't notice any lags. Here's the car mode which also works great. It's really great while you are in car to use this feature. Let's see how it looks. It's asking for the Bluetooth permission. Okay. Here's the dialer, full white just like the Note 4. Let's see the dialer, yes it's also changed, really cool. You can also record the call. As you can see it's recording our call. Here's the messaging app. It uh, hasn't changed much. Now let's see the S Pen. <coughs> and yes, here are the action command and the extra stuff. These are really great features of the S Pen. Here's the S Note. In this to home screen, really cool. Let's discard it for now. Here's the smart select option, which is also really great. It allows us to snip a part of the screen and allows us to write on it. Here's the Agni control. This ROM has got the Agni kernel which is really awesome.